Good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 26, 2022, and it is day number 108 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 167.2 pounds, and this morning, I am at 168.2 pounds. So I have gained exactly one pound since yesterday. I did have a refeed yesterday, but to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think my refeed is solely to blame for my weight gain. I think there are two other factors that are at play here. The first is that I usually do my weigh in around seven o'clock each morning, but as I make this video, it's around four in the morning, and um, in just a second, I will tell you why I am up so early. But anyways, so I've done my way in about three hours earlier than what I usually do it. And so I know three hours doesn't seem like a lot of time to like make that big of a difference on the scale. But I kind of feel like if I had gotten on the scale at seven in the morning, I would have seen a smaller gain. Um, it probably would have been, you know, a slightly smaller gain, but still it would not have been one pound. I'm pretty confident. I think I can say that pretty confidently. So um, then another issue that I've got going on here is that it is that water retaining time of the month for me. Um, this is something that I have to go through every month um, around the same time each month. It's something that I have been, been going through for decades now. And I am definitely thankful because ever since, you know, my fasting journey started, I don't like retain as much water as I have been known to retain. So like before my fasting journey started, I could like gain upwards of like five to seven pounds, like around this time of the month. And so definitely not doing that these days, which I am very happy about. Um, but still, it is that time of the month where I do retain water. So I expect, you know, the next several days to, you know, see you know some slow movement on the scale because that's typically what happens when it gets to be this time of the month but you know it will pass within a few days and everything will be back to normal so um those three factors combined i think have contributed to the one pound weight gain and i don't think i can you know solely blame my refeed but just as a recap what i had for my refeed yesterday was two spicy sausage patties that's 460 calories. I had two hard boiled eggs, but I don't eat the yolk because I don't like the yolk. So um, just had the egg white. And so that's about 34 calories for, you know, two eggs. And then I had avocado slices and that's about 320 calories, but I did not eat the entire avocado. And the reason is because that it had gotten pretty ripe and, um, so it had spoiled a little bit, and so I couldn't eat the entire thing. I don't know how many calories I ate, but, you know, just, you know, for the sake of keeping track of my calories, let's just assume I ate the whole thing. So um, 320 calories for that. For a total of 814 calories for my refeed yesterday. So I am doing rolling 72s. Um, as I make this video, I am about 19 and a half hours in. Um, and so the rolling 72s will take care of this gain um, and it will be gone within the next day or two. And I'm hoping then some um, because I am really excited about getting to my next milestone, which is 164 pounds. So that's 4.2 pounds away. And what's special about that is that at 164 pounds, that's the halfway mark to getting to my ultimate goal weight. So um, I'm pretty close and hopefully, you know, soon I will get there. So as I said earlier today, um, I've been up um, for a while now. I usually get up between four and five every morning, but today I have been up since one in the morning. Um, I don't know where, this came from but like I have this like huge like surge of energy and I just don't require that much sleep and um, so basically I have spent this morning you know doing chores I've gotten a lot of reading done um, played uh, you know video games my Stardew Valley that I love um, I watched a little bit of TV got a few steps in 
but mostly I have spent this morning doing some like heavy duty like cleaning. Um, I did my laundry and um, then I wanted to like, you know, scrub everything with like cleanser. And so um, I do like keep my cleanser stored in the bathroom um, in a cabinet under the sink and um, way in the back of the cabinet, I found a bottle of Windex. And why that is significant is because for the past several months, I have been meaning to get some Windex at the store because I've needed it to like clean my mirrors like really badly, especially the mirror in my bathroom, but also the mirror, you know, that I take my pictures for before and after picture Sunday in. Um, that mirror has gotten pretty like dusty and so it needed to be cleaned as well. And you know, every time I would go to the store, you know, to get food for my refeed, I would always forget to get the Windex. And so to think that I've had Windex like sitting in the house like all along um, that I could have used. Um, so anyways, that kind of just inspired me to like look through all of my drawers and cabinets to see like what kind of stuff I have um, sitting around the house that may be useful for me. And um, so I kind of finally made it to my su supplement drawer and realized that I had just an abundance of supplements. Um, I just have such a bad habit of buying things, using them for a little bit, and then kind of like shoving them away in like some drawer or closet or cabinet and not thinking of them. And so um, basically what I found in my supplement drawer was just like, first of all, so many fat sources. And so yesterday um, I mentioned that when I get to 159 pounds even, I am gonna fast my way through 150s. Um, no matter how long it takes um, to get out of the 150s. And um, I mentioned that instead of doing a strict water fast, I was going to do a fat fast. Well, I do not have to buy like anything for my fat fast because I have so much, you know, fat um, sources in like my supplement drawer, like MCT oil, coconut oil, olive oil, um, I have beef tallow, um, an abundance of beef tallow, just like so many fat sources. And so that is ridiculous because I was just thinking about, you know, buying some um, beef tallow um, supplements from Ancestral Supplements, one of my favorite like supplement companies. And it turns out that I already had, um, you know, beef tallow from them, actually like five bottles. And so, um, Something else that I found that I think I'm gonna use today um, while I'm fasting um, is this stuff. This is um, called Rose Vibes, and it's something that I've used in the past. And so basically it is um, rose water. It's made from Bulgarian roses. And you put like about a tablespoon in your water. And so what I'm gonna do is put a tablespoon in my water bottle and um, I'm hoping that it will give the water, you know, a nice flavor. It's a different taste. Um, it's unusual, something that you had to get used to, but it's definitely a nice change of pace um, from having just plain like salty water, salty because I use electrolytes. And so I'm definitely looking forward to having that in my water today. It's zero calories, zero carbs. And um, it always like makes me feel like so good when I consume it. And um, one of the benefits of drinking rose water is like, um, you know, weight, um, weight loss. Um, it controls the appetite and it like um, helps with the digestive system and all that kind of stuff. And it also, it's like really good for the skin. It gives the skin like a nice glow. So, um, I've had this like sitting in my supplement drawer for, you know, I haven't eaten no idea for how long. And so um, definitely amazing that I had like all of this stuff and didn't know it. Um, I definitely do have a bad habit um, of buying things that I think that I need and then taking them um, not even enough time to like see if they make a difference before like giving up on them and just like shoving them in it like a dark corner. So um, I do need to get better with that. Um, I do kind of like want to work my way through the supplements that I already have before like purchasing any other supplements is I must have like 
20 or 30 bottles of like supplements in there. So that is just so ridiculous. So um, anyways, like this kind of like bottle of Windex that I found like hidden in the back cabinet kind of inspired me to like see what else I've got hidden around. And so anyways, that's all I kind of wanted to like share with you today. The video has gotten like way too long. Um, I will talk to you tomorrow on Wednesday. Take care. Bye.